this is random and several questions how can we take and if you address that we're adding and we can send and receive through gmail so this is a very quick and very direct uh, uh, video on how to do that so first of all have your gmail open and then all you have to do google is always your friend type in your gmail go down email and up pops this little thing from the website called frontdoorpr.com and this article how to send and receive GoDaddy email from Gmail. Thankfully, I've already got this article up right here, and you just follow the steps back into your Gmail account. Go under there, click on it here on the top right for settings, which is over here, settings. Click on the accounts and imports. Accounts and imports. In the check email from other accounts, click add. So this is just a hair different check email from other accounts, add a mail account. And then you would add uh, an email address at stateofnorthstar.com. Click next, import email from other accounts, pop it through. So you would just Enter your username, enter your password. This is not a real email address for me, but it will be for you. And then, Grant, what about all this crazy stuff? Well, if it's with GoDaddy, you just follow the instructions. And this image literally is exactly what you enter, except the username and password. Pop.secureserver.net. That goes here. Pop.secureserver.net. This unchecked, leave a copy of retrieve message on the server. This one's important that you uncheck this. I've given some of the clients who you guys have an email address for this. If, um, even though you're sending and receiving from your device, you're leaving this so your inbox on the server is larger than God knows what. So if you uncheck this, when it pulls email into Gmail, it will delete the copy on the server. Always use a secure connection, check yes, label it. This helps you quick and easy see that emails come from other locations. If you look at my inbox, for example, you'll see, you'll see that, for example, I get a label right here when something comes from specific clients. Same with these labels. It makes it quick and easy to see where email is coming from. So when you label it, you can see right away, oh, this isn't from my normal Gmail, this is to one of my other official email addresses. And then uncheck archive email and message and skip the inbox and click add account. So let's look. So here we are. Opsop.secureserver.net, port 995, leave a copy, leave it, always use a secure SSL, check that, boom, and add account. Now it's going to process this and mine's going to come up invalid in user and password because I just made this up and invented it. Yours, if you have the right username and password, right through. So then it will ask you, let's cancel out here. Then it'll ask you, would you like to send email as this person? And I'm going to initiate this from here. But when you do it, it'll automatically pop up a box that looks just like this. Request. Leave treat as it is checked. Next step. And again, this is where you're going to want to follow the instructions from this. We've already filled this out, traded as alias. Okay. And now here are the terms. SMTP out dot secure server dot net is secure. SMTP out dot secure server net. Just follow the instructions. Port four sixty five. Alrighty. Follow these instructions. Port four 
65 rate. Username is the full email address and password. Check your credentials. Now, mine's failed because I just made this up. Yours was said, enter in the one time use code. So, the one time use code will add an email to that email address in GoDaddy. So, you probably want to have your GoDaddy uh, inbox opened up. And let's just go here to my products. Load. Say I'm setting up for Anagram. I'm actually going to launch the account. And when you actually submit this credential thing, yours will say enter in the one time use password and it'll come to you one time use password. You'll click into it, grab the password, enter it, click authenticate, and it will. What that allows you to then do is you create an email and then it'll appear. In this list. So I've already done this multiple times. I can send and receive email from this email address. I can send and receive email from this email address. Similarly, it's checking email from those addresses. So what this looks like is this little drop down. I can send and receive email from any of these email addresses and it looks like it comes naturally. So that's how you do it. Again, this was a quick overview, but you've got the video now. You can go back and re-watch the video. If you have questions, just ask below, and we'll get you guys to it. So thanks so much, and this is how you send and receive emails from GoDaddy in Virginia.